uh, moment I was proud of. Um, well, I was able to uh, talk with a little fourth grade girl. Her name was Sasha. And I was able to share the leave no trace message. And uh, that was something that I don't think she was familiar with. And hopefully I planted a seed and uh, hopefully made that family's day just a little bit better. I was able to um, work with a family who spoke mostly German and help them complete a junior ranger booklet. Um, and they even said the pledge at the end in German with their daughter who spoke no English, um, which was just, it was really interesting for me to hear it in German and also just to see her, you know, know what she was saying and she was uh, very much involved in it. Um, but it was just, it was a great experience getting to, um, to bridge the gap between all kinds of people that come into the park. One of my favorite things is just getting to meet the people. We have so many people outside of the country that come and it's just wonderful to share our national parks with them. We've, we've learned to uh, say you're welcome in about a dozen different languages now. There is a spot on our A-loop that um, touches the bluff overlooking the beach. And I recognized that as a special place and started encouraging campers to come view the sunset together and just share that experience with each other. And at the same time, they're able to look out over the surf and see the whales and, and the sea otters. And it's become somewhat of a tradition now. They call it Sunset Point. And uh, it's oohs and ahs and everybody just stands around and holds hands and watches the, the sun go down. It's really kind of fun. I think the one moment from that trip, which was a hike on the heart of the forest trail, was this one little boy was a little nervous about being in the woods. He wasn't, even though he grew up only a couple of miles from the park, he'd never been here before. And he didn't really know how he felt about the woods. And he told me he was afraid of bugs and he was a little unsure. But then by the end, after he'd gone on this cool hike and seen a banana slug and caught a beetle, he came up to me and goes, I used to be afraid of the woods, but now I'm not so frightened anymore. And that was a moment where I felt proud of the work I was doing because I think it's so important that kids have that experience in nature because the park is really for them to experience. We saw a lot of people that have been walking the trails uh, cool. once or twice wow. a week for the last like 15, 20 years. So getting to hear um, their comparison of, of how the trail used to be versus how it is now is, uh, is it's pretty eye-opening. Satisfying. We, we built, built a trail! trail. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, special moment from the season would have to be uh, during the Washington Coast cleanup. I was on the beach with my family uh, just past Hole in the Wall uh, on Rialto Beach and I w we were all picking up little pieces of plastic by and large and um, there was a moment when I, I looked around and, s and saw the beauty of, of the beach there of course but then I thought about the hundreds, over a thousand other volunteers that were picking up trash at the same time and I saw the the bags that we were collecting and just knowing that there were a thousand other bags being collected that day was really an awesome moment. I really like sharing the natural history of the park with visitors so when after a program they tell me that they were able to see this landscape differently or their home landscape differently I feel proud of the work I'm doing here.